Yeah, the idea of this train the trainer program was to combine theory and practice. Um, I think as a seminar leader you learn most when you try it out with a group. So right from the beginning we gave uh, our participants the possibility to work with youngsters and to try out their workshops and I think that's always an experience uh, which really gives you the opportunity to make a big step forward. In the beginning I thought it would just be a good idea to participate because the topic of having a lot of new refugees in Germany would, would influence all of us and I felt like by participating I could be at the front line of learning something with refugees. I participate in this project because I want to learn a lot about uh, the life in Germany and about, about the a lot of culture here because yeah there is a lot of culture here and uh, and I want to meet like your new friends. I think at the moment in Germany all the people are talking about people about uh, refugees and I wanted to go in a, an exchange and to talk with people with other backgrounds and um, yeah I wanted to learn from a contact yeah. Because I wanted to become um, a seminar facilitator and because I want to develop my um, speaking skills also. I really like the idea of working with uh, people, getting to know people and sharing the ideas and sharing the perspectives and thinking from other people's point of view so uh, this, this is like the ideal platform to do that. The big challenge of the introductory seminar was to bring really different people together. We had some people with a lot of experience who had already conducted seminars before. We had um, refugees who had done some workshops before. We had people who have never done anything like it. And the idea of the uh, first seminar was really to make uh, everybody acquainted, uh, feel at ease and create an atmosphere where they could really enrich each other with their different uh, experiences. There's a lot special about this program. First of all, the people. It is a great diverse group. People um, with flight experience, with refugee experience, and people who were born and grew up here, or people who were born somewhere else but grew up here, or people who came as students uh, later on here. People from um, Arab world, Africans, Germans, and other European countries. It's really good to see people from different places. And I really like uh, working and talking with those guys because usually you have very um, homogene, homogeneous, homogeneous <laughs> um, groups and it's, it's hard uh, always to talk about people and not with people. We talk with each other and not, um, we learn from each other and not from an uh, authority. We learn from our experiences that we all make. Yeah. Yeah, we went to Marienfelde. Marienfelde was a camp for GDR um, refugees uh, trying to escape to uh, Western Germany and they had to go through a process of clarifying their identity, uh, finding out about their political um, stance and uh, explaining why they seek asylum in Western Germany. And what we found out with the refugees while visiting that place and with the other trainers is that what happened 50 years ago is exactly what happens now in, in the uh, refugee camps. A lot of people don't know how to cope with the so-called refugee crisis and um, this program um, is part of the solution of this crisis. It's a project that could serve two uh, aims one of them, from of course, this is all from my point of view, one of them is integration for me as a refugee uh, and uh, the second uh, is to learn more about the, this uh, facilitating and uh, uh, yeah, training process. I feel the program is unique 
in a way that it's one of the first program that is actually taking refugees, other foreigners and Germans and putting them together in one room and letting them become trainers of a different Germany that will now be like more and more over the years will change into a more and more multinational, multicultural Germany and we are the first ones actually. To my knowledge in Germany at the moment there are few projects involving refugees really as actors, uh, as the one creating the, pro uh, the project and the project we visited in Neukölln is, is from my point of view one of the really good examples where um, refugees work as city guides and show uh, Berlin from their perspective um, explaining something about their life and their experience in Berlin but they are the teachers, they are the trainers and that's why we went to see that project and um, got into touch with those people. Challenge. Well, the English speaking was a challenge. <laughs> well, um, the biggest challenge is to how to manage the participants. It's sometimes um, you create a workshop and you had um, um, an outcome in mind then suddenly you got some another outcome. Uh, our challenge was to deal with the own perfectionism because we can always say this should be done as well or we didn't speak about group dynamics or we couldn't give enough time for these or for that and every time by every module every weekend every day every hour we had to take decisions for letting things out Buchenwald is one example of uh, the number of memorial sites in, in Germany and uh, the remembrance uh, and dealing with the National, National Socialist part is the kind of basis of civic education in Germany. I think to understand Germany now, if you talk about education, foreign policy, internal policy, uh, is to know about National Socialist times because anything we do now is directed at preventing uh, Auschwitz from ever happening again, preventing uh, a dictatorship from ever being in installed again. The personal challenge is always about the group dynamic and um, my hope was to uh, yeah, to create an atmosphere uh, where there is no fear, where everybody feels free to speak. At first it was difficult to express yourself in order not to offend uh, the people around you. So, But as time goes on we came together as a group and it was really easy to express yourself because there was, there was this kind of a trust within the group. It was a challenge to, to learn how to discuss, but um, to have different opinions, but to accept this. Yeah. I'm more than satisfied because I see the huge motivation of the people. I see them all coming back every time, even though it's weekend, even though it's hot and so on. And I see big development. Everyone has done big steps. For the uh, past weeks uh, that I've attended this program, I've learned a lot about how to be a facilitator, a seminar leader, and I've really learned a lot about dealing with uh, with teenagers, or let me say puppies, um, um, also to have a kind of interaction based on a different perspective. I learned a lot about myself, about uh, my points of view. Some have changed, others have um, more focus. Um, I learned that we have to. We have to 
find um, similarities between each other. Um, in the most of the cases we find um, or we are searching for the differences in religion, in habits, in um, our traditions and um, yeah, I try to avoid it and I try to find, um, yeah, to share something, uh, what we have in common. The aim of this project was also to diversify the pool of trainers in, in civic education, not only for our institution, but maybe also for, the, for Thuringia and, and beyond. And uh, in this last seminar we want to show uh, the perspectives, the professional perspectives uh, people have. Uh, how to continue uh, professionalizing yourself, uh, where you could work as a trainer and, and teacher, what else you need, uh, what can we offer you here as an institution to carry on, uh, if you liked it. I can say now that I am more capable of facilitating a group, I sense the development in my workshops. Uh, the two experiences that I had uh, working with a student group and working with this group, I enjoyed it and like that was the most satisfying feeling that I got. Like, I could say that was the most satisfying feeling I got this year. <laughs> I think I'm surprised of how much I actually took from every single every single time we met here. In the beginning it was very tough. I even I thought about quitting sometimes because it was very hard. Everyone fought so hard for their values, for their perspectives. But somehow we managed to always come back to us being also a group and to us learning something together and I really I felt part I was part of this experience as a group and with this group learning process I really took a lot from it.